Hello everyone, I just want to emphasize on liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on videos. If you really found um, a video really worth watching, please, the only way you can support is liking, subscribing, okay, and sharing and even commenting, okay. Many people get to me and say, oh Hilary, your videos are good, I appreciate, but it's good that you like. When you like, um, you tell the system, YouTube, that it's a good video, and then they recommend it to another person. So your own way of pushing the video for others to also enjoy what you are enjoying is just by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much for your understanding. Stay blessed. Hello everyone, thank you for coming and watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, and thank you for commenting. Please, if you have not registered in the OnPassive system, please go down below and click the link. Today, I want to take you through the OConnect system. I want to teach you step by step how to start using some of the tools that are embedded within the system. It's important because we are going to be launching this product very soon, and you will need to know how to use it to be able to launch a meeting. This is one of the best online meeting apps ever existed. If you doubt me, please test it below by clicking on the link below and registering. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, today I just want to walk you through the OConnect. I want to do a tour with you. Right here, this is the OConnect and I want to start explaining these products to you. Here, as we all know, if I click here, I'm going to end the meeting. I'm the one that started the meeting. If you have not watched our video on how to create meetings, please go up um, and you check the video up on this video. If I come here, it says sticker. If I click on this sticker here and I write on passive, you see, and then I decide how many seconds I want it to run. Let's say I say 10 seconds and then I publish. You see on passive running here. This is not found in any other tool or any other software. Okay, you see that's on passive. If I come here again and I click and I change it and I say on passive, thank you you see and I publish again I can stop it from here I can add it now to 20 seconds and then I publish you see it updates this means that if you are organizing a meeting um, you can easily intercept that meeting and announce um, anything you want to announce to people who are watching the meeting that is it for the first two the second two years here is sound if I click here um, it pops up all kinds of sound if I come here and I open this one hear what you say wow you see if i come here again and i open this one here what it will say you see if i come here again and open this one here what it will say awesome this means that if you're organizing a meeting you can just come here and cheer people up you can come and clap for them you can come and just make these sounds to just make the meeting interactive okay the next tool i want to show us is screen capture if i click here it's going to capture my screen so here now i can just say okay uh, maybe there's a meeting going on there's an, an a, a very important presentation that people want to watch if i come here and i select it says other tab this tab this tab means this particular tab and then now i can select this one and then i click share once i click share we give you some time it's loading it's going to snap it it's going to capture this particular um um um, 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 um slide and then show it to us the next tool i want to show us is calculator if i come here and i click why meeting is going on uh, maybe i'm talking and there's something you see that's our capture is already coming down we just do it a capture you see it's right there okay if i come here and i say i'm talking about a particular figure presenting a particular figure and then i don't know how to um remember i can just say this is nine times nine from here we can just start seeing you see nine times nine you see and then we say equals to you can just give us a figure here while we continue presenting and then you saw our capture down here this is our screen that we captured here let me open it and you see how it looks if i open it from here you see that you open up that is the screen that we capture you see it's opening in my machine this is a screen that we just captured this is powerful with on passive it means that you can you see that is a captured screen you see this is a capture screen okay you see it's not active it shows that it's a capture screen so i just want to remove this and we continue so another tool i want you to see here is this timer here timer here simply means that um if you have many attendees who are attending a meeting you can just search their name here and you can make them a presenter just by um following the procedure of making them presenter and also you can set a time from here okay 
No, we don't have anyone who is, um, we have made a, a, a presenter. You can set a time from here and then you allow the person to talk maybe for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, okay? On passive has the power to do all that. The next thing I want us to see is that right up here, I have another person who is presenting who is right here. If I come here, it says view list. If I click here, it says guest list. And then I have one guest because I'm using two accounts. Well, this is the other account here. So here I can find my guest list here. Okay. I just wanted to let you know. I can also search by name up here and then I click here. Let's say there are many of them here and I click and then I search those names. Okay. I can also come here. Um, here we have what you call G bgm okay if i click this one here it says set the bgm here is amazing um let's say you are organizing a, an event that is a celebration you just click under here you find many sounds for celebration okay and these are the sounds okay this is an event this is a birthday this is a new year this is an orient this is a halloween okay if it's a birthday or you just click here and get the sound for birthday If it's a new year and you're happy, you just get the sound for new year here. And so on and so forth. It's condolence, somebody dies and you want to celebrate on Zoom, on this um, site, you can, on, on all connect, you can use this, okay? If, if it's an achievement, you can also go here and you just click. These are the sounds here that are there that you can use for free. The next, next thing I want you to see is the themes, okay? If I click here, it gives me option of themes. Themes simply means um, to beautify your background, okay? If I come here, unless I was celebrating and my, I've chosen a celebration sound, I will just come here and choose this particular theme here for celebration. I can just come here and I choose this theme for and then I set as a theme. And then I give it some time. It's going to change the background of my meeting, okay? So you see that it has changed the background of my meeting. You see, I can still come here again to this very team and I choose again. And I still choose again, it comes up here and I go to this other background and I choose and then I set it up. You see, it changes, you see, it keeps changing. That's how wonderful it is. Let me come now to this um, attendee. I can just come here and, attend and invite people from my contact. This is my contact here. Why the meeting is going on. These are people who came in through my affiliate link, okay? These are their names and their emails. This is how Unpassive has made life easy for you. I can just come here from here and then I began to choose them, okay? I've chosen this man, I've chosen this man, I've chosen this man. And then I can just send them invite from here, okay? I can just click from here and then I have already sent invite to them okay this is how passive works another tool i want you to see here which is very powerful is this recording okay i can just click here and start record you see screen recording started now i'm recording this meeting okay i can just come to the same space and then i click and then it stop recording okay i can come here and i click my emojis here maybe somebody is talking and i really love what the person is saying and then i just come here these are the emojis and i want to give it thumbs up i just click thumbs up here you see, I just come here, I click thumbs up, and then you see thumbs up going up here. Wow, that's powerful. I can also come here now and chat. This is chat here. One thing you must know with chat, as I talked, as I said in the other video, if I come up here and I close this chat from here, it is going to close from here, okay? If you go here now, you see chat disabled. If I go here, since I'm the host, and I, able, I, I enable it, you see it, is, it has enabled for me. I can just say hello and i send to everyone this is group i can send to everyone i can just chat to a specific person if i come here and another tool which i want to show you all is you see i've sent a message it's already there another tool which i want to show you is the push link push a link if i click here you see here if i come here and i give a name i say hello okay and then i come to this same link of on passive of my meeting and i control c and i come and click control v here I you see i've placed the link and i push no I, let me just write on passive on here on top here on passive okay let's say you are presenting and you want everybody who is in this meeting to push a link to click a link and maybe go and watch a video or watch a presentation all you need to do is to come here put the link copy the link and paste it and then give the link a name and then you push once you push the link it appears here wherever that person is the person is going to click here and then just go directly to the another powerful tool i want to show you is call for action call for action also is similar to push your pushing your link if i come here i put the title type your title i just say on passive 
it, it could be anything i'm just, just doing this for the purpose of this video and then my url again i click and i still paste again button text type button text and i say hello you see and then i come under here uh, color code i can choose the color code from here or create call action okay and then um call for action and then i want to display it i want you to display just one minute i can put 10 minutes okay i can put just um five minutes three minutes and then i create call for action again you see i have called for action i have made a call for action now you see that when i made a call for action this is what is happening i have a link i've pushed up here and then i have a call for action up under here the name i gave was on passive and then i put the title of the text hello and then i've given it just two minutes no three minutes so it's after three minutes the call for action is going to go off are you getting so i can delete this from here you see i've removed my call for action i can also delete my link that i just pushed from here so this is how you can just call for action or push a link and people can click from wherever they are and they watch the meeting and this is good because you are not going to disrupt anyone okay you are not going to tell anyone to please want to push something you just push it and they see it and they click it maybe you are explaining a video and you want everybody to have the link or see what you are talking about you just push it and they watch it out of the, the meeting space this is powerful another powerful tool i want you to look at is the pool this is the pool here the pool here is simple because you can just come here and then while you are up at a, a, a organizing a meeting you just come here and you create a pool now what is a pool asking people question asking them question if i come here and it's a create the pool and i click create it's a pool name i say on passive it can be anything okay and ask a question how is the meeting you see and i put a question mark and then i'm about to make it multiple choice and i click multiple choice it says the first answer say fine and this other answer says awesome okay i just want to get people's view now i put create you see i have created a pool now people will be select you see self survey created successfully so people are going to be answering this pool and then after that we are able to know who was who said awesome and who said fine and then we are going to assess and know that okay this meeting was either awesome or the meeting was fine based on what people said about the meeting another tool which is so powerful is this video here if i click this video you see it opens up this is so powerful if i come here and i take a video link and i paste here okay any video link this is a meeting i had a, a meeting i was training some young african leaders so i paste a link here okay right here when you paste a link here what will happen is that it will paste up here are you getting such that each time you open this people can click this or you who's presenting can click this and then start showing people if i want to play this video here i will just come here and i click play are you seeing please select video okay sorry i will select i will select the video and then i come and click play so once i click play now the video start playing to everybody you see that's the video playing hello everyone my name is silaro china thank you so much for good you see that's the video playing coming out this is powerful this is so powerful now i'm the one Thank you all very much for coming and watching my YouTube channel. Please make sure you comment below anything that you want to learn within the OnPassive ecosystem. Stay blessed.